I don't know if I'm I'm, I'm wording that right. Let me just tell you the story. How about that? Okay. <laughs> yeah. All right, dude. So um, we're on the ship actually, and I'm we're, I'm talking to this guy. He was from Texas, and he wore this big ass fucking ring. And uh, we're at Chow, and uh, Nick's like, "Oh man, you played football, and it's a it's a football championship ring or whatever." <laughs> And everything like that. He's like, yeah, I got one for football and basketball. And I was like, damn, dude, that's a, that's, you know, that's pretty great. You're a state champion twice in two different sports. I'm like, how the hell did you end up in the Navy? And he's like, oh, I got hurt, you know, whatever. Boom. Af- <laughs> athlete didn't really take care of his body. He didn't uh, stretch. And he was like, yeah, man, biggest regret is not stretching. He's like, what about you guys? Did you guys play sports? Did you have any chance to, um, to get a ring? And I started laughing because of this, um, so, I wasn't particularly good at any sport in my uh, high school run. I was I was really lazy, but um, I I was lazy to the point if I wanted something, then I would try, and I would obsess about it. You know, you know how I am. There's no like yeah. in between the spectrum, bro. I'm either hard like either on the left or on the right in a non political stance <laughs> here. You yeah, know? Okay, where are we going with this? You know. I'm either like fucking um, running a thousand miles, or I'm just gonna sit on the couch and be a couch panda and eat M- McDonald's, Arby's. Who the fuck eats Arby's, by the way? Have you ever eaten Arby's? Actually, yeah, I've eaten Arby's. It, it's trash, but it's yeah. cheap. Yeah, that is super trash. But anyway, guy asked me like, so, um, because we're pretty fit at that time, right? And he's like, damn, you guys are athletes, and um. Who still starts telling him about his uh his running career, and he was like, "Oh, Palmer ran cross country. He was pretty good at it." And I was like, "Yeah, I ran cross country for a year, and this is why I don't have a ring." <laughs> so every sport that I grew up, like small town, we don't have. Uh, we had a football. But we had a football team like uh twenty miles away. Well, about eleven miles away, Manny, uh, Louisiana, and they they're always like state champions. Our basketball team was mediocre and then our baseball team was really good but you Mm -hmm. have to understand like growing up and i'm seeing these kids come back with these rings i'm like oh my god if i play sports i get a ring right that's all i'm Mm -hmm. saying michael jordan kobe Bryant. i'm looking at people that i I look for inspiration i i didn't correlate the type of sport i just saw if you are the (laughs) best at that sport you get a ring right so it's freshman no fuck it's junior year junior year and cross country i'm fucking 117 pounds i'm about five foot even honestly i'm so fucking short but i'm really good at running like i just ran all the time as a kid and it was like the only thing that i was good at like i can run and just never get tired now i'm just more of a sprinter than a long distance thing but whatever but Coming in my age group in like a class B school, running a sub ten minute mile, which is fucking terrible, by the way. It's just like ten minute miles. What, like, dude, you're trash. Get off the, get off the field, get off the court, and <laughs> get off the trail, really, in cross country. But um, I ran a, I think I was averaging around a, like a high six minute mile, like a six forty mile. So. My six, like I can do like if I'm sprinting all out, I could probably do like a lowest fast of ever random mile was like five. I think it was like five forty five, five minutes and forty five seconds. But I, I was I was good. I was better than the average kid in my my grade and my class uh, bracket for class B schools in cross country. Right. So do cross country the entire year. I'm, I'm killing. I'm, I'm always on the podium, either second or first. And then there's this kid. I forgot his fucking, I think it's, let's just name something horrible. Larry. I'm going to give his name Larry, but he was this long lanky motherfucker, bro. Six, like six, 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 seven built for uh, running. Like just his stride was as, as tall as I was in a way. And he was beating me. I was second place, six meets in a row, dude. Six races. I'm like, fuck, dude. I'm like, state's coming up. I'm like, this is my chance to get the ring. Oh, Larry fucks up his hamstring. And I get it from the grapevine, man. So I'm on the bus. I have been, I have been diligent. I low, like low carb load where you only eat pasta the day before. And then you fast 12 hours. So you can tap into that, uh, that energy in the run. I am so dialed in. 
And I'm on the bus, bro, just fucking going crazy. They're like, oh, dude, I'm going to win. They're like, yeah, you're going to win. Blah, 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 blah. I'm like, I'm about to get this ring. And I look at to, uh, I think it's Coach Partridge. I look at him. I'm like, you better get that uh, that book ready. I, and I'm my, my size, you know, you got to size me up for this ring. And, like, everyone's, like, looking at me like, what are you talking about? <laughs> and I'm like, what do you mean? And he's like, you don't get a ring for cross country. And that, like, blew my mind, dude. I'm 20 minutes out. I'm 20 minutes out from racing because we're on the bus and we're just, like, doing our – um. no, no, no. I'm actually two hours out. Two hours out, yeah. We're 20 minutes away from the school where we ran at uh-huh. NSU for, uh, for state. I'm 20 minutes away. I'm like, what? And, dude, all my motivation just went just, like, away instantly. I'm like, I'm not a runner anymore. I'm like, I'm not going to fucking run. Like, I'm, I was so upset about it. I was like, I'm doing this shit for what? And then everything started playing in my mind. I'm like, dude, I've been waking up for 4.30 in the morning, running 6, 10 miles a day. I'm fucking doing hill sprints and everything like that. Starving my body, eating only white rice and, like, fucking wheat pasta and shit like that. And you're telling me I did all this hard work for a certificate and a fucking picture? I'm like, I'm a state champion, dude. Like, what do you mean? Because, like, it's guaranteed, dude, like, I'm going to win because this guy, Larry, or whatever the fuck his name is, is not there. They're, like, there has to be an act from God to stop me because that, that was, like, our time. Like, from – he was beating me by about, you know, in, in the cross-country world. Well, I don't know how it is now, but he was beating me by 20 seconds, and which is a fucking lot. But I was beating everyone else by, like, two minutes. You know, so there was no like, oh, someone's just going to come out of the blue and beat you. No, I, I got two minutes on third place guy, which I have seven minutes on the fourth place guy and, you know, trickle down effect. Yeah. So it's once we got the news that Larry fucked up his hamstring, I'm in it. Florine, uh, Florine High School is about to have a state champion cross cross uh, country under the first, by the way, the first. That's what they thought until they told me I wasn't going to get a ring. <laughs> So, you know, I'm telling you how we, how we were fast. I'm super upset. I'm not even, I'm not even trying to fuck with anyone. I just, I went from playful joking into that competitive mindset of like getting into that savage mode, ready to dominate into just saying like, nah, fuck this. I'm done. I'm not running. I'm not going to put my, my body through this for a piece of paper and a picture. I got that on the second place podium. There's nothing else. There's nothing else. So this, uh, bud, Cody Harrington, uh, he's telling me, like, dude, come on, run. Coach is going to set, blah, blah, blah. He's going to kick you off the team. You're not going to be able to run your senior year. I'm like, I'm not running anyway. Like, I'm I'm done with the sport, bro. <laughs> I'm done with it. And um, so our coach would always bring, like, chocolate and, like, Jolly Ranchers. So we can just, like, eat a, a, a fun size Snicker and, like, two Jolly Ranchers to get, like, a sugar rust rush Mm -hmm. in the beginning of the uh race and then then we'll kick kick into our carbs because we carb loaded at um 24 hours prior and then we can just boom we're efficient world oil machine so i'm like fuck that i take the whole bag of jolly ranchers bro i just start popping those bitches i'm like (laughs) i'm not i'm not running and then i'm like eating the entire fucking bag of uh snickers by myself and (laughs) So it's time to race. I'm like, fuck it. I I, I came here. We drove like 90 minutes to get here. I, I'll do it. Bang, right? Race starts. Everyone lines up. I start walking on that hoe, bro. I'm like, I'm not doing it. Everyone's shocked about this. And then, like this guy, Cody's like, bro, come on, dude. I walk for like a solid like two minutes. And then I'm like, fuck it. I'm, I'm going to just do this, right? Start running. Boom, 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 boom. We're about an hour in, and the race is coming to a conclusion. And I'm like in third. I'm like, you know, fuck this shit, bro. I walk off the field. (laughs) I walked off the field because I'm so upset that I, like, where is my fucking ring, bro? Like, I could beat the, like, I see first, second, and third. Like, I have this sprint. Dude, we used to practice these hill sprints, man, that was hell, like, that would just destroy your calves, your heart, your soul, make you fucking cough up blood. They were so bad because you had a uh, sled on you. And this was, like, at NSU, the lot, the, um, the final, the finish line right there, you take a left, and there's this big-ass hill. It's called Cardiac Hill because it makes you go to cardiac arrest. That's the whole thing of it. And I'm just like, you know what? Fuck it. I'm just about to walk off this bitch. And then I jump over the line. 
<laughs> fucking Cody comes up. He's like, no, and he's about 220. I'm, I'm like 115 pounds. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he big bros me, bro. Armpits and puts me back in the race. Like, you know, like Bradwell, how you be picking up people, right? Just grabs me and throws me back into the race, right? <laughs> so I fuck it. I'm like, I'm like, fuck it. i I got what a minute left in this race. Let's go. Boom, run. Da, 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 boom, boom. Second place, right? I'm happy about it. I don't care. I don't care. Cause where's my fucking ring? I'm not getting the ring, right? So <laughs> Coach is all pissed. Everyone's pissed. No one's talking to me on the ride back. And I don't give a fuck because I don't have my ring. There's no <laughs> chance for a ring. So it's whatever, right? We get on the, uh, we get back. That race happens on a Saturday, school on a Monday, six in the morning. Uh, they do morning announcements. I don't know if you did morning announcements at your school or yeah. whatever. And they're, they're start, they're recapping the weekend because every sporting event, they lit a recap. Yeah. And um, they say second place, uh, uh, Luther Palmer, blah 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 for cross country, and then you can hear like people clapping and shit like that. And then our coach, he's uh, he's in the office. And he's like, "Don't clap." <laughs> you can just hear. <laughs> he's like, "He could have won." <laughs> he was so butt hurt, bro. <laughs> but uh, yeah, yeah, not a, not a uh, climax to the story in a way. I just. That's why I don't have a ring, by the way. <laughs> That's why I chose a sport that didn't. Um, I think only team sports get uh, championship rings. I don't know, and uh, yeah, I don't. I don't have a ring just because of that reason. Bro, yeah, <laughs> that is the most extra shit I've ever heard. For the fact that you could have beat them so bad that you're able to walk in your first part of it. Bust it out, say fuck it, walk off, have your friend Bradwell you, and finish still in second. Yep, yep, it was uh, it was it was bad, dude. And then like my sister gave me so much shit about this. <laughs> like, and if anyone wants to fact check this, check this story, you can just um find her on Instagram and ask her about the uh, cross country story, because uh, she loves it. She tells her friends about like how uh, like a lazy piece of shit I can be sometimes <laughs> when. What I not, thought I was not getting. lazy. I wouldn't say lazy. I just say to the point where you're like, why the f like fuck you? Like you could just say fuck you to a team you've dedicated so much to. Dude, yeah. To so the ring. Yeah, bro. Fuck that. Uh, fuck that team shit. Fuck that school <laughs> shit. Fuck that. All that other shit. If I don't get my ring, I don't care. <laughs> or what, if, what if the coach was like, please, Luther, I will buy you a ring. Hmm. He probably would have got me. He probably would have got me. Yeah. And uh, till this day, um, not like I even fucking care or li or look up who wins cross country in the state of Louisiana anymore, or even care about uh that school. I I still believe no one has won uh a state championship or been on the first place podium, first place on the podium from um Florine High School. And that makes me more proud of anything because I hated that school and to take that away from them. I like it. Bro, I'm so fucking done. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so done. Well, since you're done, uh, where are we at with this? Damn, I talked for like 12 minutes. Jesus. <laughs> Yeah. So, with this podcast, you just say, oh, we got no listeners. Fuck this shit. And then just camera. <laughs> right, right. You have any questions about the story or anything? I mean, an orange. I mean, fuck, bro. First off, how slow were these fucking people that you were able to do that shit? Dude, I, I ran at like a sprinter's pace, honestly. Like, um, not, not on, like, you just got to think. The the class B school is is a point where if I would have went to a, a like a five A school, massive school mm -hmm. like you see in tech, I don't know how big was your, your how how big was your graduating class? Like almost five hundred. Yeah, so that that is still kind of small. I don't know what that would be, but my graduating class and the people and the students that I already um the schools that I was competing against also we had an average of fifty people graduating below. So you can imagine your whole graduating class is our ninth through 
12th grade. Like your whole senior class is our entire high school community. Jeez. So there's not a lot of talent there. And I was just better than those kids. Now, if I would have went to a 5A school, dude, I would have got destroyed. I'm too short. It's not my it's not my sport of um, choice where I'm like, no, no, no. There's no fucking way. That's like me trying to play basketball at a 5A. I would get dunked on and destroyed. <laughs> That's why I just started taking people down. Fuck like that. Oh. But yeah. I, I can't wait until you have your high school reunion and your old team's just there looking at you like you fucking did this to us. It's only, dude, we only had uh, four members. We had two girls. That only use cross country to get out of um some, get out of class early, mm-hmm. and uh, then we had we had Cody, which was a was a, a crazy athlete, but uh he was he was lazy, he was like legitly lazy. I think he really just got on on a cross country team to, uh, for free candy and bubble gum. <laughs> That's really it, and That's some badass. and you know uh, uh never mind, <laughs> like, never mind. <laughs> I would have to consult Cody about that before I talk about that in a public, <laughs> a public um, format and manner. Yeah, yeah. He was a lady. He was a ladies' man. Let's just say that. And uh, yeah, all right for sure. That's- anyway, I think that's it for this podcast. <laughs> that's it. Yeah. Any closing statements, Justin? No, I mean it's it's good that we're back into the original concept of coffee time where it's just stories about random shit and to to know that this hasn't changed since high school and you're still kind of the same person where you're like no nah, fuck this what the hell am i getting out of it it's just amazing to me do it a hundred percent like you better like if we're gonna do something you better tell me what i get out of it and be honest in a way in a, in a like I guess I don't think that applies for everything that I I've done or been a part of, but it applies to most. But anyway, hey, this was Coffee Town Podcast. Uh, like, <laughs> subscribe, uh, share the damn thing. Come back if you want to enjoy more. And um, until next time, we out.